then we have um, Maxine, Charlie, and Oliver. You see uh, Wyatt being carried by Victor running towards you. Let me down. It's fine. What's going on? What's it's happening? not fine. There was a full-size bear. What? He was going to eat my candy bar and my toast. It was fine. He was going to eat you. He had no interest in your candy bar. Should we run too? Uh, no, I don't think the I... bear's following. I'm running too to make sure the bear isn't following. No, Judy! And I run after him. <laughs> I am not going to run after them. I will just stay here. Thank you. The bear is not coming out of the woods. Um, Frankie, who, which party would you like to join? Um, aren't we all together now? <laughs> well, no, because technically, Oliver, Oliver, and Charlie just ran towards the woods. Screw it! I'll go into the woods. Okay. Um, I don't know. You weren't here last week but we now have a map and tokens weren't weren't they where was i can't remember they were at the albatross house uh just a bit of all oh, right they were staking go back out. uh you saw movement and stuff inside of the albatross house but you didn't come across any information that was helpful for you so they just came back and went to bed snuck out what was that sorry I was kind of just hoping that maybe, uh, oh crap, what's her name? Sophia. Yeah, that one. Yeah, no, she, she did not leave. I was hoping that even rich kids were. What's they the have, they have been told by their lawyers that it's best that they don't show their faces for a little bit. Every bush going to sneak out sometimes. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, I found it. Okay. Um, okay, so you guys uh, basically you run up to the park area. Again, I would like if you guys uh, could move your tokens for you. And that was west? Me. Uh, no, like the park is up here. Okay. Um, and yeah, so there's the park is kind of a fenced in area. And then you can go behind the park into the woods, uh, which is where uh, Wyatt found Finn the first time, which is why Wyatt was calling after Finn. Gotcha. Um, yes. Are, are we still able to see the footprints from the pub? Or no? So where you are here, the footprints yeah. uh, where Maxine is. So yeah. I'm going to put all of you there. Uh, sure. Well, Victor, Wyatt. Because that's where you guys met up. Uh -huh. um, where you are now is where the footprints go west. Yeah, so I'm going to scan the woods to see if I see any movement, and if I don't, head back. Uh, so I'm not going to make you roll for this because no point. You see movement, yeah, but it's movement going away. So like a big object getting smaller. Okay. So I know, yeah, so when I see it's clear, I walk back to the group. And I'm sure Oliver follows his gun. Uh, <laughs> just a second. Hey, Oliver Gordon, pleased to meet you. That's to Frankie, Frankie right? As, as, yeah, he reaches a hand out to Frankie. Uh, they will take your hand. Frankie. Stop. Pleased to meet you. I gotta go. Judy's getting away. <laughs> I don't even want to know. Um. Okay. So <laughs> you're gonna follow Charlie back down to the group. Yep. Okay. Uh, Frankie, are you staying up there, or where are you planning on going? I don't know. This guy seems kind of uh, weird. I don't know. Just to be clear, it is uh, like five thirty in the morning. Oh, fantastic! So, uh, um, nothing's so, open. 
Nobody is open. Nobody is up. I guess since we are the only ones awake, I am stuck with Mystery Man over here. So I guess I'm going back in their direction. Uh, he would have been introduced to you as a new member of our party in the morning. Yeah, I get that. <clears throat> but it's also 5.30 in the morning. I don't yeah. expect that I'd process that much. So he so is actually going to be... Learned. He's actually going to be working want, very no, closely sorry. with you because um, he is also going to be a researcher analyst, but on the other side of the spectrum of believing everything. Mm. So valuable lesson for me and Victor is uh, if we don't want to lose Charlie, one of us just has to be carrying his gun. <laughs> if you don't want to lose you, Charlie, Wait, that's you. Sorry, Oliver. We're still, it's still the new campaign. Names are hard. That's your name, though. <laughs> He's the only one he knows. He's a top. Exactly. Okay, so you guys have your. So we're following the footprints. Are yeah. you? So you're following I, the footprints. I thought the. Yes. Yeah. Might let well. me let me freehand this here and do a frosty color. We're gonna go like this. I like the accurate snow background the map has. <laughs> okay, so that's where the footprints lead. Into the into the woods where the yep. bear is. Yep. Excellent. To be clear, those are the bear's footprints or the, the... those no, are the that's, uh... those are the icy footprints that uh, Finn had told you about. What do the what do the footprints look like? Yeah, how big are they? Um. Because you said elongated fingers, right? It looks humanoid, but on all fours. Right. So you see feet and hand oh. prints. Oh. Oliver will be in hog heaven. Quadruped. I <laughs> knew it. Um, I'm going to get some, like, still shots of the footprints for later like taking pictures of it uh, pictures are still shots okay don't be rude i'm just asking a question are you did wyatt, wyatt lose his camera or do we all this yeah should, i'm or, asking it's like do you have your own camera i imagine i can still take photos on my cell phone oh yeah all that's right. fine we have that technology it's what okay. um, no for you guys. no internet there there's not a great amount of internet it's kind of like limited so basically only in our little hub or, or... in the nahani lodge you have internet okay cool. uh around um, here there's no signal or anything really there's still landlines people have i would guess it'd be a little spotty yeah uh wyatt where's the camera gotta go <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will remind everybody as well, um, which well, this would have come up in your interview as well there, Oliver. Uh, you are all wearing uh, body cams, so it's like just a quick like GoPro type of thing that you wear attached to your... Uh, you're all given go bag type backpacks as well, or like emergency backpacks that have like thermal blankets, stuff like that attached to your backpack is that GoPro that you can also take off and kind of like film yourself with and then put back. You told us that before? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, right. is, it, is it very specific what's uh, the equipment that we have with us or is this more of like an improv thing I pull rope out of my backpack kind of thing? Uh, I You can come up with something. There's specific things that I stated. But you can come up with yeah. something, and I'll let you know whether that makes sense that it'd be in there or not. Oh, uh, gotcha. Okay, I turn to Charlie. Hey, man, we're going to go into the woods now. Uh, going to need Judy back. And I'm going to roll a manipulate person. Nice. That is double ones. <laughs> Two. <laughs> uh, so it's up to the hunter to decide how badly you offend or annoy them. They mark experience if they decide not to do what you asked. 
Let, let me guess. I'm uh, gonna need Judy back now. Need her. Come on, man, just give me the Judy. <laughs> you, you, uh, you'll get it back if we're in a situation. Oh, that don't do it. me like that, Chuck. I'm jonesing for a Judith. <laughs> All right, so he's not going to? No. <laughs> and I mark an experience for that? No, he does. Why does he get an experience? I don't know. Then? I don't know, but you no, you get an experience anyway because you failed to roll, but he marks oh, an experience Why does as well. he get an experience for my suffering? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it says they mark experience if they decide not to do what you ask. So if they still decide to do what you ask, then they wouldn't mark experience. But if they decide not to, then they get one. I for being offended. <laughs> <laughs> So you mark experience as soon as you fail a roll, but he marks experience because he decided not to do what you asked him for. Uh, not cool, man. Not cool. <laughs> okay. Why'd you let the lizard man have your gun in the first place? I trusted him, and he said he wasn't a lizard man. Have you learned your lesson? Oliver for five minutes. I'm not leaning to Oliver. Are you sure he's not? Oh, no, he is. Wyatt even says so. Oh, that's hot. Okay, oh. so for this campaign, Oliver's going to believe I'm one of the <laughs> You're a lizard person that lives in the sewers. No. Possibly relatives in Boston. Oliver, have you learned the error of your ways in trusting the monster? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no. Again, I am not a lizard man. I am not a monster. Oh, okay. I am a regular human. Charlie, just saying, that's exactly what one of those things would say. Oh, oh no, 100%. So maybe not say it. Don't okay. do anything suspicious. Why did I join this crew? Are Wyatt and I the only ones going towards the woods? <laughs> it seems like it. That's why I'm saying, okay, are you? who's all no, going? Are I would you have all been going? going with them. Okay. Oh, more tracks over here. Do I make sure that you're showing me where people are going just to make sure what people oh, are yep, actually sorry. doing? Um, <laughs> Victor and uh, Charlie are on top of each other. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm going to keep following the tracks until I need to stop. Uh, so you guys get up to the woods. Uh, and the tracks do keep going into the woods, but they are a lot harder to follow and things have like blown on top of them. Leaves are covering them. So it's going to be a little bit harder to follow the tracks. Is that a roll of some kind? I'm trying to think here. I think it is. I think we, they'd be another act under pressure, which is roll plus cool. I am not a cool guy. Who wants to roll plus cool? We get one uh, roll. I am uh, following the group, making keeping an eye, an eye on everything, so not me. Not me. Not it. <laughs> I have negative one. Do we have also. Do we have no cool people in the group? I don't know. Yeah, I, have zero. I mean, we're we're all staying home on a Saturday night playing t playing a TTRPG. <laughs> <laughs> I think I answered my own question. <laughs> All right, were we not supposed to make ourselves when we picked the, like, our stats? Oops. No charm, yeah, negative nine. one cool. I am Weird. so uncool that I don't I'd even play a cool person. I'd say for me. <laughs> okay. Does it, okay, uh, I got a nine. Nobody, nobody has cool. No one. Nice. You got a nine? Cool. Yeah. Why it's a cool guy. Yes. Why it has cool? No, I just want one. Well, my cool is negative. He, he just decided, to, yeah, mine is also negative. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> is yours yeah, I don't also have negative. negative. My, mine's a negative one. Is the so highest is zero. a zero? And Victor's a zero. So we have no <laughs> cool people in the party. Got it. Oh, man. Okay. So if you need us to do nerds. poorly on rolls, just have us roll cool. Have you act under pressure? Got it. We are all gonna oh. panic and act run. under pressure <laughs> or help out. I can roll weird if a monster's related. So 
Oh, that's handy. Okay. Can I charm my way through? This I just one? rolled ten. No, we only get one roll. I just rolled ten. Why? Why? Wyatt, so, Wyatt already rolled. It's too late. Oh, Quick never mind. He rolled a you, nine. Uh, following following what? tracks oh. wouldn't qualify as being due to a monster, would it? Um. What? Yes, technically. Oh, so I could have had it and had a plus two. Because <laughs> the monster is the one who left the tracks. Because oh, we're the because we're all the learning future. the game, I will allow yeah. you to take the roll instead of Wyatt, uh -oh. just so you have your plus two. Because it would have made more sense for you to do it. Okay. We do have a ten on the table right now, though. Just throwing that out there. That's fine. <laughs> Eleven. Ooh, we have an 11 now. Uh, so, um, because you have previous experience in the military and tracking and whatever, you decide to take the lead and follow these tracks. You uncover the tracks in the woods, uh, kick away the leaves, and you follow this icy pathway. Um, and eventually... Uh, one second here. You uh, keep on following it as you walk through the woods. Uh, oh, right. I have it written in here. Sorry. So the sun is still not quite up yet. And the moon is kind of just going down. The moon hangs low in the dark sky above you, casting a ethereal glow on the desolate landscape surrounding these woods uh the air is frigid and a biting wind carries the haunting uh sounds that are being carried through this arctic night say arctic but kind of more northern <laughs> canada night which eh, close enough <laughs> uh you guys are all bundled in your layers of thermal gear and you start approaching um this entrance to kind of like a cave-like area in the woods uh, as the footprints come to an end. As you begin to cross the threshold into this uh, musty old cave, the air grows a bit colder and the sound just goes quiet everywhere. You hear a bird or bat you're not 100 percent sure you hear wings fly away as you step into the cave maxine you clutch onto your flashlight tightly and you flash the beam even though it's not the greatest flashlight and it flickers into the vast darkness that spreads before you um hey. you you all start navigating through the silence together you pass uh, stalactites and stalagmites as you're wandering through. Uh, suddenly, the temperature plummets even further, and you all feel an ominous presence lurking in the shadows. All of your flashlights start to flicker intermittently, uh, casting crazy shadows that seem to dance across the icy walls. Really, Charlie, you couldn't oh. charge the batteries last night? Come on now, come on now. No, 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 I no. pulled out my gun. I'm really going to shoot you. Wyatt. <laughs> and you're going you're gonna to threaten me when I... Oh. Point out the <laughs> fact that you're not doing your job, and now you're threatening to kill me. My Charlie, job is nothing As to you do with the enter flashlight. a section yeah. of the cave that gets a little bit thinner, uh, the temperature drops even more. Oh, Charlie, the, I'm gonna need my Judy back. The atmosphere eight. Uh, eight? Alright. <laughs> so that means it's you mark you mark experience if you do what he asks. Yeah, he's still not getting it back. <laughs> really? This is a bad situation here, dude. I'd do it. Fair enough. Okay, uh I you see me pull them out to just kind of like hesitate for it. Like, and I pass it up. <laughs> uh, the atmosphere becomes thick with tension, and each of you feels a weight of unseen eyes upon you. 
a faint echo reverberates through the corridor, corridor kind of like a chatter. Uh, it sends shivers down your spines. You look amongst each other, realizing that something otherworldly is watching your every move. Wow. Uh, pull my axe out. <laughs> you can pull your axe out. Okay. Can you have my axe off my back? Okay. I don't need guns, it's fine. In response, the temperature plunges to an unbearable degree, and the corridor that you're entering is swallowed by darkness. All of your flashlights go out at the same time. You strain your eyes to try and see something through <laughs> uh, <laughs> through the black void. Glow sticks or anything in it? Uh, that would make sense. Yeah, whether you could find them or not is another question. Can I try to find a glow stick? <laughs> sure. I use my little phone phone light to, to maybe rummage through the pack. Yeah, sure. Uh, flashlight. As you are looking into the black void like i said straining your eyes to see something with a glow stick you catch a glimpse of a chilling figure manifesting from the shadows a I humanoid the in that direction <laughs> a humanoid form you're throwing it that way yeah to try to give a bit of light in the area okay you light it up and you are able to see a humanoid form made of ice and darkness with piercing red eyes that seem to glow with a malevolent intelligence. Is this a roll for cool to not panic? Um, I mean... <laughs> or we don't run away. You can if you want to. Give me a second here. So it looks... You said it looks like it has intelligence in its eyes? Uh, Yes. Well, this icy cool. monster emerges, its form shifting between icy tendrils and looming darkness. Uh, you guys currently are paralyzed in fear as its darkness starts spreading out towards you. And Can then your you flashlights that? come back on and it vanishes. Okay. There's nothing ah! there. All that's left is the cold that's in the air and the frost that was forming on the walls towards you that you can see now that were previously invisible to you. And a glow stick. <laughs> so when you said like it was creeping toward it's like a like I'm picturing like a black ooze. Not ooze, just darkness. Just okay. the light like, that, like, but, like black, like a being Okay, maybe ooze is wrong, but like black. Black, yes. Black so, is oozing towards us. Charlie shadow. threw a light Glow towards stick. it, which illuminated right. it. And right. as he did that, it illuminated kind of the walls and stuff too. But then the darkness started enveloping, taking over the light. And that's okay. what I'm saying. When okay. that disappeared, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. that was ice left behind. But then our lights came on and it's gone. Creature's Correct. Gone. The ice is still there. No, no, but the ice is still there, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, you all hear something almost directly behind you. Where we came in? Yes. Uh, I'm going to turn around and look for can something. Can we turn around and look? You can turn around. And standing probably about eight feet tall is this creature that was per previously on its all fours. I say on its all fours, but on all fours. Uh, your flashlights reveal its visage. Uh, the piercing red eyes locked onto you with kind of like a hunger in its eyes. As you saw previously with the glow, your flashlights start to be enveloped by this dance of shadows that it's creating before you. So um, does it look like it's aggressive? But he just said well, it's hungry. Like wait it for hungry this next size. line, and that okay. can okay. be an answer to you. Uh, it begins to charge towards you. Oh. I was turning and swinging I... anyway. Yeah, so roll to kick yeah. some ass. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. No, nope, not at the same time. No. She was on swinging, so she's rolling first. There's no uh, initiative no. in this game. It's whoever's taking the turn. Oh, okay. So that's plus... Not me. Tough? It's right? plus tough, yep. Ten. 
10? Yeah, already. All right, so on a 10, um, choose one extra effect. So you, you are going to inflict damage, but you get to choose one extra effect. Take plus one forward or give plus one forward to another hunter. What that means for you guys and also possible listeners is in the future, you can use plus one to your roll or you can give plus one to somebody else. Uh, you inflict terrible harm, which means your harm is now going to increase by one. You suffer less harm, which means your harm is going to go down by one, because in Monster of the Week, when you attack, you get attacked back. Uh, or you force them where you want them. Which, I did get a ruling, um, you cannot tell them to run away. Well, okay. Okay, um... Let's do... Um, let's do pay it forward. Who are you going to give it to? Um, who is shit at rolling? How are we all stacked up here? Like, uh, you can align yourselves on the map. I'm going to go ahead and say Frankie was at the back just because she's the one swinging. Uh, they're the one swinging. Yeah, sorry. I'll be kind of in the middle. Um, probably a good idea I to put the kid in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I probably would have led the way in, so when we turned around, I'll give I'm at the, the plus back. one to Charlie. Charlie? Okay. Alright. So, so, Charlie, your next roll, you get an extra plus one. Okay. Nice. Alright. Okay. When I saw it charged, I would have run to the side of the cave wall. Uh, I will. Wait, did so I get my gun just, back? Yes, you did. Yes. So oh, just yeah. to let you know, right. just to let you know, the current situation that you are in is there is approximately enough room in this corridor of cave for about one and a half people to stand side by side. Okay. So like you can probably sneak by somebody, but you could not stand beside somebody. Because you said that Frankie was at the back, though, right? I so said Frankie was to... Frankie's at the back just because they were said that they were swinging. So if somebody was standing right behind somebody else, I don't recommend swinging wildly. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. they would have had to have moved to the the back. Like, we no, all we all would have moved. All of us. Yeah. So if I was at the back of the technically group, now right, 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 now right, you're right, at the right, front right. because so you're right, all turned at around the front, at the front of the path. Yeah. Yeah, so she was in okay. the back when we walked they, in, and it showed up behind us. So she's at the front. Right. They. Okay. Sorry. Hey. I, okay, so that's, 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 that's gonna be a rough one. <laughs> that was the way. So I guess your right, character. Right, it's more right. you. Yeah. Thanks for that, cat. Appreciate You're that. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. Sorry, because we're learning this. So, what? What okay. is Frankie? What is Frankie using right now? Like for An rolling. Axe. She's rolling 2d6, no, 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 no. she's using not... kick some ass, and rolling tough. Okay, well, I'm just So you rolled a 10, and you're using plus one forward. So as okay, Frankie I'm... spins around and cracks yeah. the uh, axe yeah. into the side of this monster, how much harm is that doing, by the way? Um... I think it's like two or three. Three harm. Okay, so as it cracks the axe, they crack the axe into the side of this monster, it lets out a terrible scream that kind of echoes in all of your ears. And you see from the side of the cave, a mixture of ice and dark just pierce out and jab you in the side of your gut. Uh, uh, you take two hard. Can I take a shot at it? Two. You can certainly try. Okay. Well, that's a two. Off to a good start. Oh. Oh, oh, no. So I get a plus one? You get a plus yeah. one. I rolled a four, then. You rolled a <laughs> two and a one plus one. Uh, so, okay, so... I have a ahead. question, just one sec. So how do you figure out how much damage you do? It'll uh, say next under your gear where... Oh, okay, this is on your sheet. Okay, it's on your sheet, right? Yeah. yeah. So like mine, okay, yeah. I could yep, be yep, 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 yep. 
hammer or fire axe that has it. Yep, like, yep, yep. Okay. I was just a, looking on the sheet. So, and I didn't on see a anything. miss, you get your ass kicked instead. You suffer harm or get <laughs> captured, but don't inflict any, inflict any harm back. So, just like you saw Probably, with Frankie. Got his ass kicked. Yes. Just like you saw with Frankie, there's the walls are covered in like an icy darkness that's like surrounding you. And you see again something pierce from the wall and jab into your arm. Uh, and you kind of feel like a cold, life sucking force jab into you. And you take two harm. I take mm. one harm. Nice. Oh, Man, also, Mark experience. experience I leveled up at the end of this. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Or I recommend I you take a play, this... a play out of uh, Victor's book and <laughs> resist more harm. That's what I'm thinking. Is that what you did? No, yep. Victor has a has a thing that helps resist harm. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll give myself some art, but that's end of game, right? Yeah. So what do you guys do? Run away! No. <laughs> uh, i recommend it actually yeah actually yeah because it's like i just talked about how i didn't have my gun i was getting after oliver for being a lunatic okay so here's some suggestions yeah. and this is Our just lunatic. purely purely based on the fact that we haven't played this so correct you, act under pressure if you guys are playing a runaway running away acting under pressure would be the way to do that read a bad yeah. situation that literally the first question is what's my best way in or what's my best way out that right. can give you a bit of a clue there so how does it act under pressure work when we're all running one person rolls no it's again it'd be a step-by-step -step basis so it's okay. like each person well, yeah, has to decide what they act do under right? pressure has cool so and which none of us have. none of you are good at so that is not one we want to use. I can. Um, I, I can't weird when here. it comes back to me, I would like to panic button. Uh, if you want to do that right now, go for it. Okay. Can you explain to that? us what panic button what is? is? that? So panic button is a thing that I can do when I need to escape. Um, I roll plus sharp. Um, I name the route that I'll tr that I want to try. Uh -huh. Um. On a 10 plus, I'm out of danger, no problem. Uh, 7 to 9, it's I can choose to either go or stay. But if I go, it'll cost me. I leave something behind or something comes with me. And then on a miss, I'm caught halfway out. Okay. I, I don't remember. Do you have anything? Um, this thing's like 8 foot tall, right? You said? Uh, standing up, it's 8 foot tall, but it's running. it was running towards you guys on all fours again, so... It is no longer eight feet tall. What I'm going to do is press myself against the wall so anyone behind me can get past me. And if it's ever going to attack anyone, I'm going to try to protect them. Okay. Um, what is the ground like in here? Is it just... The ground rocky? is icy and rocky. Okay. Um, I really hope I roll well for this because otherwise this is going to be... I hope you roll well too. <laughs> Um, so, are we gonna be running deeper into the game? I am gonna back up just a little bit, and I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna pull my longboard out, and I'm gonna try and like lay down on it and like belly slide. Guy. Oh, cool. Okay. But so go ahead and creature? roll. Oh, ha, huh. ah, ha, ten, eleven. All right. So you take your longboard out of your backpack throw it down to the, or kind of take a running start towards the creature. Everybody behind you starts freaking out because you're running at this what creature the? with nothing. And you fall down to your belly and slide across the ground as the creature has all four legs up in like a fold-out sprint. And you just happen to time it just right that you slide under and you hop up on the other side and book it out of the cave. Where the heck does she think she's going? Out of the cave. We have time to have a discussion. Yeah. So, no, uh, we're not, have, we're not having doing? a chit chat. I don't think I have anything like that. Do you, Victor, have anything? Victor's going to pull out his huge sword. Okay. 
Oh man, what do we do? What do we do? Step aside, uh, Oliver. Wait, does is it, Victor is it have not a sword? I step Victor does have no. a sword. Victor has a huge sword. You step out in front? <laughs> yeah. Huge sword. Because so I'm contrary. <laughs> he is now standing in front of you, Victor. Can I try to pull him out of the way and prank him against the wall? Nope. What are you uh, doing? Oliver. What are you doing, Hello. Oliver? Okay. I... <laughs> <laughs> and I do get a plus one. Oh, that's all right. That is a nine. Um, plus one. That... That's a ten. That's a ten. Nine no, plus eight. one. That's a, no, that's an eight plus one. Sorry. Okay. So, on a seven plus, you and whatever you're fighting inflict harm on each other. Okay. The amount of harm is based on the okay. established dangers in the game, blah, 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 blah. So, Already said how much damage does your gun do? Oh. Yeah, three. Three? Oh. So, you do, you take out your gun and stand in front and you blast a bunch of times. Um, the protect somebody, unfortunately, in this situation doesn't work because that's not how the protect somebody works. Protect someone is to get somebody out of, like, danger, but not in the uh, case of, like, kicks and ass. So, if yeah. it's attacking... <laughs> If it's attacking him, I can protect him. But if it's he's never going to attack him. Attacked. It's never going to attack him because that's not how battles work. You guys do something, I react. It says when you prevent harm to another character. Yes. So that is in the situation of like, let's say something's falling on you. The bear that was going to attack you guys. Things like that. The situations are about to get into. That's okay. when it's going to happen. I understand. Uh, so, uh, you deal your three harm you fire and it lets out a scream but nothing really stops it it kind of looks like it just chips away at some of the icy darkness that's on it and as that happens it launches itself on you and pins you to the ground and like starts biting onto your shoulder uh you oh, take onto oliver yes you take three harm Owie. okay um and we have a total of eight seven Oh dear. Can okay. I use the distraction of the uh, monster being on him to get out? Act under pressure, please. Yes, so three harm means you're one away from getting into unstable territory, which means at unstable, your damage to you is going to continue getting worse. At unstable, you also need to visit the clinic in order to actually fix yourself. So it gets worse with time at unstable? Yes. Okay, at this point, I would imagine Charlie and I would have been, like, trying to kick this thing off of Oliver. I assume so. Uh, roll to yeah. protect somebody if that's the case. You haven't rolled yet, roll so this one's on you. Roll plus hey, tough man, to protect I someone. Two from earlier, so right? it's a roll plus tough. What did you get the hold two from earlier? The, that is uh, a 12. Monster. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So from I'm going to your... use those two to get a t uh, 10 on this. Act it's... under pressure to escape. It's from your power, right? The tune in. Oh, no, it's plus uh, one. It's plus one ongoing. No, the uh, when I uh, rolled to for the tracks in town, I thought I got to hold plus two and can ask two questions. But you already asked what? those questions. Right, but I thought I still got to keep the hold too. No, that's to ask those questions. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you do get from your power. Um, from your power, you get a plus one. Yeah. So you get a plus one to your roll. That only gets me nine. That's still better than what you need to. Um, so oh. all you need, so you have to pick a worse outcome, hard choice, or price to pay. Uh, hard choice. So uh, as you try and sneak by, it is reaching out and like claw, like about to claw at uh oliver again and as it brings its hand down as you're trying to sneak by it catches onto your bear 
No! Uh, hell no. Okay, so no, you do not get to leave. It catches on and you try and pull back, so you're standing right beside it. Uh, so I have a question with how the fighting works in this situation. So if it's charging in, clearly wanting it's to attack... No, it's it's some... no longer charging in, it's on top of... But, it's but on all of it. I know, but if he, like, if we didn't do anything and it just charged into us, it can't attack? It's on. Correct, because... I know it's it, on him right now. So... I'm, but if it went slightly different, I'm just trying to kind of understand the game. So, with Kicks and Mass, you guys... The, everything is decided by you as players. If you had chosen, instead of to kick some ass, to read a bad situation or act under pressure to try and run away or protect somebody. Protect someone can also cause you harm, but kick some ass definitely causes you harm. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, so if you had chosen to act to under read pressure, a bad situation? read a bad situation was only my suggestion because you could figure out what your best way out was. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm like, so in a situation like this where we're being attacked, oh no, was it's he attacking so, us? What? Did, he didn't attack you until uh, uh, Frankie attacked. He has always reacted to an attack. Correct. Right. So right, if right, we right, don't right. react at all, and then and it charges running us, in our direction, and I swung at him. Is there a game mechanic that it can cause harm to us without us attacking? Nope. What is? So, what did, so technically, we can just ignore monsters the entire time, and they can't hurt us. Uh, no, but they can hurt other people in town. Uh, hey. true. What did what did Cat say? Uh, I was just um going back with what happened when it we yeah. started fighting. Yeah, the, the she, monster he they the person. No, no, no. But the, what did the monster do? What did the monster do first? The monster just was in ran front at of you. Us, up behind us, scared me, started running in our direction, so I swung and at then, it. And then and then Frankie swung at it. Yeah, and then Frankie got okay. out, and then it uh, attacked Oliver after Oliver shot it. Right, because okay, Oliver so, shot first. Okay. All that being said, Victor rolled a 10 plus 2 is 12 to protect, protect somebody. Oliver. Okay, yeah. so you managed to kick the uh, monster off of Oliver. Get it off! Get um, it off! And drag him away and start running in the other direction. Is the other direction the same way Frankie was going, or the other direction? Sure, you can run the same way Frankie's going, because it specifically says on a 12+, plus, uh, both you and the character are you are protecting are unharmed and out of danger, so you run out of the cave. So all, right, all I, of us, also... Victor and Frankie are running out, me, Wyatt, and... Maxine are still Maxine there. Maxine are, still, are in. still in. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I'm hoping to get out as well okay but it's so what like do you want to i'm do? not i'm not trying to i'm hoping that is what's what's a monster doing right now it is being it's like kind of in a stunned state of being kicked in the face off of Oliver. by victor yeah okay so i'm i'm not wanting to harm it i'm just trying to get past it so, so is that again, act under pressure? Act under pressure, yeah. Roll plus cool. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. There's a monster lick there's a monster licking at uh Frankie. Yeah, hey, I'm I'm in trouble. I got five. Oh wow. Um so on a fail on that, let me just pull that up here. Um oh, no. on a miss, things go to hell. Oh, good. Like further? Yep. So, uh, you begin to run away, and as you yeah. do, you slip on some of the ice that's underneath you. The monster yeah. gets out of its stun state, grabs yeah. you, and runs deeper into the cave. Awesome! I'm going after her. I'm so happy. Uh, you have a chance here. I'll let you uh, roll to protect someone, if you want. Okay. Oh, good. Seven. Uh, you protect them. 
but you'll suffer some or all of the harm they were going to get. Um, so, as you stand in the way of the monster running away, the monster tries to get past you. You grab onto it and try and stop it. It drops Maxine and grabs onto you and books it into the cave. Oh. Well, I'm technically succeeding on my job of protecting the crew. <laughs> okay. Is it running away now? It is running well, deeper running into the cave. So yeah, you, cave. you and Maxine can get out. I'm gonna get out. Can I? Can I? Can I yell? Can I yell to Victor to come and help? Like as I'm running out, like this. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Is there any? Yeah. Because I don't, don't need to have roll anything. anything. To... Talking is a, okay. A free action. What? I can talk? No. Yeah. Okay. So Victor was with Wyatt, right? He no, was. I had Oliver. Oh right, 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 right. Okay. Wyatt, so... his bear, uh, kept him in. But why? Oh no, I don't know if Wyatt's out or not. Okay. Why it is out just in front of you. So like you were running out together. Okay. So I'm yelling at Victor. Victor, that thing's got that thing's got Charlie. It took him back into the cave. He stopped him from taking me and he's can you can you do something? Yeah, yeah. Calm down. All right. You guys take Oliver. I'll go back and get him. Okay. So uh inside the cave. I'm going with you. Perfect. Great idea. Uh inside the cave, you see um the back of this monster and as this monster is holding on to you and i guess uh maxine you would have got this information too you are almost like you're wearing full thermal gear everything full clothing and as this monster held on to you you felt like your skin was starting to get frostbite through this clothing uh same thing is happening to uh, Charlie right now and as he takes you deeper into the cave you are put down quickly onto the ground and you see icy darkness come out from the ground and start to wrap around your legs and then the monster vanishes from in front of you you are currently being held in place by a like prison of ice and darkness is there anything I can do I mean, do you have something that you could chip away at it with? All I could do is shoot it. I would not shoot it if I were you. I am not going to shoot it at my own. own. Uh, read a bad situation if you want. Me? Yeah. How long would it take for Frankie and I to get to him? Because he wouldn't have to do that if we're right, like, right there. Um, well, we're gonna be a little bit behind him. Yeah, probably about a two-minute trek through the cave. Plus, I would assume you're being careful and not running because you're smart people. I hope. Plus, we would be calling out to him in case he answers. You hear so echoing two, voices throughout the cave. To Charlie. answer you about my roll, I'm bringing out my other dice. <laughs> what did you just roll? Uh, five. Okay, Charlie. Um, uh, so, do I start getting experience towards the next level on a failed roll, or does it cap out at five? It in caps a session? out at five in a session. Darn. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, you look around and everything, and you're like, you know what? They're gonna come and get me. I'm not too cold. Things will be fine. Thing, everything's gonna be okay. Charlie. I'm down Charlie! here. Keep talking, Charlie. There's only one way to go. Yeah, you just follow <laughs> follow the caves. It's fine. Victor, um, do you realize the more you scream, the more you're telling everything where we're at? Everything? Like the one thing that we saw? You think there's more of them? The cave know. can hold multiple things. It's not necessarily just where the monster is. Uh, as I'm waiting for them or whatever, I'm going to pull off my thing? camera and try to get better video of what's going on. Uh, as you take your camera and spin it around to tr like off your backpack, you look at the back of it and all that's displayed on the screen is footage corrupted. Hmm. 
Well, I'll put it away then. It's kind of useless. Uh, well, no. You restart the camera, and as you pull it up, you kind of like search through what's been like recorded, and there is nothing from today. Okay, I'm gonna get it recording again in case the monster shows back up. Okay. Uh, you guys come across uh, what's his name, Charlie, and you see where is it? Charlie, where is it? You see, I don't know. hold up, you see the ice that originally charlie had seen and was like no it's no big deal everything's fine is slowly climbing up his body and covering more and more of him at this point it is at about uh just under his chest as i'm sitting here holding my cap <laughs> frankie you got your axe charlie i need you to hold your hands above your head why and don't move what I'm just, gonna... use a, just use a back. I know what I'm doing, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to snap at it with the back of the axe so I don't cut his foot off. Just That's puts fair. me out of my misery. <laughs> Doesn't a fire axe have a nice big claw on the back of it? I don't, I don't know, remember. probably. <laughs> they, they do. It's for piercing metal doors and stuff. They, they have spikes and, and, on the back. Yeah, and, and nice. <laughs> and nice. <laughs> The ones we keep in like a school where it's like break in case of emergency, those don't have that. It's just a regular axe. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen a break in case of emergency axe. They have Some it of them are hung right, yeah, hung right next to the hose. <laughs> okay. Imagine in Texas they have like break in case of emergency and then you get a 44 or 45. <laughs> or <whatever. laughs> you tried that for you a don't while. Have to break anything. Like, how many people broke it when it wasn't an emergency? <laughs> I can totally picture people just like shooting a fire. <laughs> a, a fire hose, an axe, a 44, and a bottle of wild turkey. <laughs> and that's okay. why we all want to move to Texas. <laughs> no, we want to move to Texas because of the tax reasons. Uh, anyway, so you uh, start breaking apart the uh, uh, ice. So go ahead and roll me an act under pressure. Cool. If she fails, does she hit me? Plus cool. <laughs> you know what's going to happen. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Six. Six? Oh, That's a fail. Oh, no. So everything goes to hell. As the ice begins to climb further up his body, uh, you are chipping away at things. Uh, and as you jab in, your hand slips and you hit him right in the arm uh, for, let's go with two harm. That seems right. You're using the back of the ax. It's just a flash wound. I thought you said you knew what you were doing, Frankie. I know how to use an axe. I don't know how to deal with ice that's growing up a person's body. Uh, I'm not difference. unstable yet, at least. All right, let's, let's try kicking it together. I try to hold still this time, Charlie. <laughs> I didn't stop, stop wiggling, Charlie. Charlie, I said arms above your head. How high is the okay, ice? So we'll try, the ice is at your chest. We'll try so kicking all it. All I can do is move my arms. It's like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right who who's gonna so anyway that's your that's your pro like your damage you managed to do the rest of it without hurting him again uh and you chip away at the ice and manage to break him free okay well if she was successful i wouldn't have chastised her no, it, well, it, you probably should have chastised them. chastised them to begin with for hitting him in the arm. <laughs> no, you definitely would have, like, while I was still working at it. Okay, gotcha. I feel like I'm, like, like smacking the ice, I slip and I hit him in the arm, and I go back to, like, smacking the ice, and you're like, I thought you knew what you were doing! Yeah, and I'm definitely yelling at you after you hit me with the... <laughs> anyway. So... Hey, Matt, so... do, you want, do you want to, like, 
tell them what we saw. I, I don't know if they already know that, but tell them what we saw in the video about, like, what to harm. Like, how... Like, wh what he's now, like, damage-wise. Like, as a reminder, even to me. So, uh, he's not getting two harm. He's getting one harm. So, basically, all oh, okay. he's getting is it feels like he's being, like, very aggressively punched by, like, a martial artist in the face. Or in the arm right. or something. Right. Uh, but, yeah. One harm. Zero harm is, like, a punch from a normal person. One harm it still is... hurts. Yeah. Like, a cut, a uh, bruise, something like that. Uh, to harm, uh, you're starting to get into the more aggressive injuries. Mm -hmm. Three harm, uh, you're you're in bad shape. Um, you're probably That's gonna need me. to take a day off or so. Um, four harm is when you get into the unstable category, which is like you need to right. go to the hospital. Right. Uh, and then further than that, you is the same thing and then seven harm is dead so yeah oh sorry we're not supposed to do that <laughs> i said i said when we were watching this i said it kind of reminded me of like the need Here. for speed like when you were excited about the need for speed where there was actual damage uh, uh, i'll read and, it here to yeah. you right now zero harm wounds have only minor short-term effects four to seven harm wounds are serious and unstable they will get worse and less treated. Mark the unstable condition. Uh, eight harm or more will kill a normal human, including a hunter. Armor reduces yeah. the harm. Uh, in right. order to heal, um, so one to three will improve when your hunter has a chance to rest up or get some first right. aid. Uh, resting or first aid reduces the injury by one harm. So currently, people who are at three harm... I highly recommend that you go to the clinic today and get that dealt with. Get a band-aid. Probably need some stitches. Yeah. yeah. So I have my axe oh, wound in my arm. We'll need some stitches. What about our two harm folks? Two harm folks, I like resting. Need a, need you a can, bit of you, rest. You can rest it off. Uh, you can get it if go to the first get first aid as well, and then rest, and you'd be at zero. So, yeah. Right. Anyway, so you get him out. Uh, and head out the cave. Uh, uh, and Wyatt, Wyatt and, and I are outside I would still. Say, I would say all of you I are still outside. So. I don't imagine yeah. you would have left two people I behind. Don't I don't know. No, I don't say... I'm not saying go back in. I'm saying go back home. Yes. I think we're not fighting anything dangerous. What? It's clearly just somebody with, like, an ice machine or something. Does this look like an ice machine? Never had no bite marks from an ice machine. Do I have He's frostbite or anything after being carried? Uh, because you were carried longer than Maxine, yes, you do have frostbite on, like, your side and, like, arm area. Plus yep, the thing that held Charlie down, anyway. would that be... Would that yeah, be that's why I'm saying it's like you didn't notice it because like you didn't you were in the first stages of hypothermia where like things weren't standing out to you. Yeah, and frostbite, I know from experience, you don't really notice until, until like, like the next day. Oh, even when later, it started like, warm up. Because... Yeah. Yeah. OK, so you guys get out of the cave and meet the others outside of the cave. We gotta get out of this damn forest. I know the way. <laughs> I can't start running. All right, you all book it and head outside the forest. Uh, as you oh. head outside the forest, the sun is starting to come up. When we get into town, I go to check your cameras. Okay. Also, did you guys go and get Wyatt's camera? He never told us where it is. Okay. I asked him, and he walked into the forest. <laughs> yeah, he said, I'll be right back. Off in the distance, you hear a uh, rooster call. <laughs> it is now 7 a.m., waking up in the morning. So would everyone see all the footage from the day is corrupted? All of the footage from today has been corrupted. Awesome. 
The only thing that's still around is Frankie's still shots. Well, that they took Easily. on their own. Yeah. Easily explainable. Okay. The guy clearly had some kind of EMP or something. Wyatt, do you Someone know what an EMP does? Wyatt. It destroys uh, footage. No, it destroys electronics. The device is not fine. damaged. The footage is. Hey, look. You know how to do things. You don't know electronics. You're not an electrician. Neither are you, kid. I'm in the military. I'm aware of how EMPs work. So, I'm thinking we should... Is where's is there a hospital nearby or something? It's like I think we need to get Oliver to something. Oh well, yeah, I'm bleeding. And, you are and, uh, leaving the forest right now. You are literally right beside the hospital. Where is it? Move the Glacier thing. Wellness Center. Right. Oh, there. that's a hospital. Oh, yes. I it's see. a small town. That's the best I got. Yeah, it wouldn't be. It'd be a Medi Center. Okay. And it would probably be locked. What? Seven, I, got, might be I got the master key. And I take his gun again. <laughs> <laughs> Is that another roll? It, I mean, he's not going to give it to you now. <laughs> I'm gonna okay, try, it's he's suck, gonna he's not getting sucked in again. Make your roll. Seven. So I'm sure okay. you don't choose to give it to me. So that's the thing is like with the seven, it's still mark experience for all of the other hunter rules. They don't have to do what you say anyway. They can choose to do what you say. And if they do, they mark experience. Well, for the uh, for a 10, a they would also get plus, plus one forward. Manipulate someone on a 12 plus. They need to act under pressure to not do it. Oh, OK, yeah, that's true. Okay. So it's only on a 12 plus, therefore, as possibly forced to. So I give him my gun, I mark experience? Yes. Okay. But you gotta promise to give it back when I ask. Isn't I will give it back when time? the situation requires it. You promise you're not a lizard person? Yes, I promise. Okay, good. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Has anyone told you that you're gullible? Oh yeah, all the time. 